Hello, welcome back to Smith in the Building. Today we're going to be looking at door schedules. Uh, in previous video, we talked about a finished schedule, so go out and find that if you're looking for it. But uh, jumping right into the door schedules. So in a similar fashion to the finished schedules, you've got these charts and you can see that you know they they look a little similar so let's just take uh any old how about the um work room here uh, room number 1002 all right so that's the door number and remember you can you can identify door numbers uh with the circle a kind of oval shape uh we we talked about that in one of the videos when you're looking on the plans uh, doors are denoted with certain symbols and they're typically always oval uh, circles but sometimes the letters or numbers are a little long so it turns into an oval anyway we have the workroom here now it gives us some information about the door uh, this is saying that the door is three foot wide and seven foot high that is a typical size for the door and there's your thickness, one inch and three quarter, one and three quarter inches. Okay, and then under here you have your door frame. So door frames, I can help you out. Door frames are typically, uh, I typically see hollow metal. Now we're gonna jump to another sheet that's gonna, you know, reveal what a type one or two looks like and all that sort of stuff. Um, all of this information that is listing out here, you can reference the head, seal, and jam details that break down uh, all of these different types for the jam, for the heads, for the seals, and all of that. And occasionally, sometimes you may come across a door that has a fire rating on it. So for instance, in the stairs, that makes sense because if you're in a stair, uh, you're supposed to be safe from fire. And in this case, the door label is going to say 60 minutes. So in other words, that door can uh, have fire against it for 60 minutes before it melts away. All right. And then you've got hardware set. Uh, that's a little hairy there where you're talking about hardware sets. Uh, here's a here's a here is a, a hint for everyone. If you're just entering construction, let me let you know. You don't want to be the person that is in charge of doors and hardware. That's normally what they stick like the entry level people on. But I'm going to let you know that that is not the way to go. Uh, nobody likes I don't know that many people that like door and hardware, um, you know, dealing with that on a job. Unless, of course, you're the door and hardware company. So let's. um look at some of the notes that we have all right so similar to the finish schedule we had a typical detail and on the fin on the uh, door schedule this says doors not listed on the schedule shall have typical finishes listed below now you have typical door notes uh, we're not gonna read through all of them but um, maybe I can pick one out here okay this one provide brush stainless steel kick plates on the push side of doors with push bars and our closer devices so it's saying if you have a door with a push bar or a closer device uh, put a steel kick plate and uh, should be some pictures flashing up of what all that looks like and it goes into how the kick plate uh, shall be set and some other things there all right that's a good note right there and then we have notes from notes for remark column you can see a lot of these numbers a lot of these numbers are in the remarks column so this one has a lot this one has a lot of remarks let's see what kind of door that is okay this is a door in the vestibule or this is a six foot wide door seven foot six inches tall it is uh, aluminum it's aluminum frame and let's get into all of these notes so for that door apply note 1 2 4 22 23 and 24 now I don't know that I need to you know go through all of those right here you can you can look at them right now if you care to but if you were 
looking at these plans, this is where you would figure out what the remarks are. Okay, I do want to look at the door elevations. So um, there was a column on the door schedule that listed numbers like this, F, F, G, F, G, 2, and so forth. So this is showing um, what, what those door elevations look like. Uh, again, about the kick plates. Uh, here's a note here that says kick plate at exterior door. So if this is an exterior door, we need a kick plate there. Is what that's basically telling you. And then pay attention to these notes. For all glass in exterior doors, provide glass type G1. So you would have to go to the glass uh, schedule and see what kind of glass type G1 is. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in the video. Um, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know if this is helpful. And I uh, hope you guys have a great night or day.